Hey, what's happening, guys? Yeah, as you can see, I got a unboxing video today for you, and I have a pretty good idea of what's inside this box, so I am very excited. And um, yeah, let me just tell you, uh, I almost ripped open the box as soon as it arrived at my door. So I am very excited to open this guy up, and I've been waiting to do this video for it. All right. Let's get this. Guy open, a nice and easy. Got some paper. Got a lot more paper, and oh yeah, oh yeah. Some of you probably already know what this box is right now. Here, I'll just kind of let this thing hang out up here. Let's see if I can get this focus again. There we go. This right here is Creed's Mile Sign. Imperial. Look at right there. An absolutely beautiful box. But let me open it up. Just like Green Irish Tweed, we have a little tab right here. And this right here is Olivier Creed, the, the current owner of the Creed Fragrance House. His son, Erwin Creed, actually is um, 29 years old, is going to be the one to take over his dad's spot although his dad does his dad was the one who made uh silver mountain water green irish tweed mile signs imperial himalaya his dad is quite a resume we'll see if he can live up to it and then right here's james henry james henry creed founder of the creed house in london creed didn't originally start in paris they started in london in 1760 so just like green irish tweed bottle we have that right here little bit on Creed's history and the gold lettering. Very, very, very nice. But here, let's get into the bottle. I've only sampled this. I've never seen the bottle in real life before. I will tell you this, though. I have sampled this fragrance more than I've sampled any other fragrance. Oh, yeah, guys. Look at that. Man, that is nice. Here, I'll first go to show you the cap a little bit. Right here, we still have that engraved cap right there. Really, really nice. Right there, we have Mile Sign Imperial. Right there. And then up top, we even have Creed engraved on the top of the spritzer. And Creed really does have phenomenal spritzers. This, this bottle right here is actually the 2.5 ounce bottle or 75 milliliter edition. The, on the 4 ounce bottles, they tend to be a little bit wider and a little more square. The 2.5 ounce bottles tend to have a little more of that mountain peak kind of curve action going to it. But wow, guys, that is one. That might actually be, I just came out with my favorite bottles video like yesterday, but... I might actually have to have a new favorite bottle. Look at that. Okay, but let's get into what matters, and that's the juice inside. Okay. Here, I'll turn that right here. Give a little spritz on the back of my hand here. Oh, and again, a beautiful spritzer by Creed. Per distributes the, um, the fragrance perfectly. It's not runny or drippy. I'm not sure you can see it on my hand, but not runny or drippy at all. Just phenomenal atomizer. Okay, but here, let me let it sit for a second. Why I'm letting it sit, here, let me get this to focus again and see if it focus on the bottle. Come on. Okay, why I'm letting the fragrance sit a little bit. Um, a lot of people have compared this to, um, or say that Sean John, or a P. Diddy knocked this particular fragrance off in his fragrance Unforgivable. And yes, he did try, he did attempt, he did try, he did not succeed to knock off Miles Times Imperial. I'm a fan of Unforgivable. I wore Unforgivable a lot. I not only wore Unforgivable, I wore the more expensive juice. They came out with a limited edition called Unforgivable Multi Platinum that was supposed to be the higher quality Unforgivable. I wore that. And I can tell you that that. Even the higher quality juice of Unforgivable doesn't hold a candle to Creed's Mile Sign Imperial right here. 
but I let it sit for a second. Let's see what we got. First off, you just, it really comes by with just kind of a nice breeze of freshly cut watermelon. Now, this isn't a thick scent at all. It's almost kind of airy. That's why I said it's kind of like a light breeze of just sweet watermelon. And there's actually, there's actually a slight saltiness to it. And that saltiness really reminds you a lot of what, you know, the ocean air on the beach would feel like. So we have like, just an extremely beautiful, the best watermelon note I have ever smelled in a fragrance with kind of a salty breeze going through it right now. And I mean, it's just one of those fragrances that just puts a smile on your face, you know? If you're looking for a fragrance like that, that'll just make you happy whenever you wear it, Creed's Mild Sign Imperial might be your guy. That is no joke. Again, remember I said I sampled this three times before I bought it. Where I bought my samples at, because you uh, you never want to buy blind, I bought my samples at FragranceNet and the Perfume Court. They both have this for, I think, like $3, as far as a little tiny sample goes. But FragranceNet does give you a nice card to go along with the sample. But um, as far as to try this on your skin, remember the problem with the samples I tried on Green Irish Tweed was that the samples didn't have the longevity of the juice from the actual bottle. There was actually a big difference. And I really think that has to do with the fact that the samples are exposed to much more oxygen. And when you're dealing with a niche fragrance house like Creed and the amount of natural oils they do, the more natural your oils are, the easier it can break down. The more synthetic your oils are, they'll last longer, but they're kind of like preservatives when it comes to food. This uses O Naturel. And actually, oh man, guys, I think everybody should at least sample this. If you don't have, first off, I'd recommend you go to either a Creed Boutique, you go to a Saks Fifth Avenue, you go to a Neiman Marcus, go someplace where you can try this right out of the bottle on your skin. Because then we know the juice wouldn't be exposed to a lot of oxygen if it's coming out of the bottle. But if you can't do that, get a sample of this. And this is Creed's Mild Symes Imperial. Like I said, this can't, for those of you, if you're a fan of Unforgivable, try this out. You will go nuts for this stuff. I remember the sample I had of this lasted three or four hours. Longevity wasn't all that great on the sample, but that was the same thing with the Creed's Green Irish Tweed. And the Creed's Green Irish Tweed out of the bottle lasted a lot longer than me. So I'll be able to do a nice review on this one. Probably expect a review on Miles Times Imperial sometime next week, I'd say. But, oh man, guys. Guys, I am, I am gonna whip this out in summer so much. I mean, this is one of the most beautiful things you'll ever smell. Oh man. Oh man, guys. But definitely, um, here, I'll go over the box one more time for you, right there. But yeah, guys, definitely um, rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think of Miles Times Imperial if you've ever tried it. If you haven't tried it, sample this. You need to sample this. Go to a Creed Boutique. Go to a Neiman Marcus. Go to a Saks Fifth Avenue. Find a sample of it somewhere. Get this on your skin. You deserve to at least try it on your skin. But guys, this might be the most beautiful thing I've ever smelled. And actually, I just came out with my uh, favorite bottle video, and this might actually be my new favorite bottle. But... <laughs> Alright guys, uh, definitely always rate, comment, subscribe, and hopefully I can get a review for Creed's Mild Sime Imperial out next week. But, I will see you later folks, and yeah, tell me what you think of it, okay? Alright, bye.